You can't ignore that everything costs more than it did last year. Because the lies are spreading. Joe Scarborough, complete meltdown. In Trump circles. From That's you. Welcome to John Mike Keene. Thanks for subscribing. You showed me a clip of a Republican congressman. Mm -hmm. Brian Selter points out, you're lying. This is not the case. The That's Republican governor from media. all of these states. Oh, social media is the bad guy, Mika. That's the Republican governor from all media. of these states. And frankly, if I didn't have social media, I'd have no way of getting out my voice. People are talking on social media. Can you believe it? They can't talk on MSNBC because you're a cable news channel and it's not a two-way communication. It's you two just shouting and, and Joe spitting and frothing. I think a vein's going to pop out of his head. Are saying this is, a, and this Republican congressman said, well, that's what people are saying. Well, yeah, they're saying it because you're spreading the lie. Who spreads the lies, Joe Scarborough? Prices keep rising. The last time inflation was this high was 1981. About Trump, the insurrectionist, who spread the lies that he's a threat to democracy? Who spread the lies that he deserved what he got from Judge Juan Merchon, from Eng Judge Angeron, Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, Fonnie Willis, who spread those lies and who spread the laptop lie four years ago to get Biden elected? How did you lose your credibility, Joe? Why is no one believing you and they're believing J.D. Vance and Trump? All this money spending. Vice President Kamala Harris casting the tie-breaking vote after passing a climate change tax and health care bill without a single Republican vote. Times may be tiresome. I'm not tired. I'm only just getting started, buddy. I'm a patriot. I'm here for life. I'll be the last one standing. We ain't getting tired. We're only just getting going. But people have to hold them to account and keep count of the lies. President pulled the plug on, on the Keystone pipeline. Well, here we go. 519 a gallon. We can't grow numb to this, as unfortunately, many friends of mine in the media have grown numb to it. I hope you guys are hearing it in his voice. Do you hear it in his voice? Do you know what he's saying? Is he saying Kamala Harris is winning? He's saying Trump is winning and he's terrified. He's frothing. They threw everything they could at Trump and it, he's realizing he's got that come to, who does he worship? Come to Allah moment and he's going, we lost. And let's just say, okay, so Donald Trump is talking about gene, the gene pool of immigrants who commit murder. People who talk about gene pools are crazy, right, Joe Scarborough? He's probably been through about 100 years of materialist philosophy that said we evolved from apes and that we're just a matter of synapses, that there's no soul, that we're just cause and effect, that we're just our genes, that we'll never get beyond our genes, that it's our breeding, your eugenics programs which uh, Margaret Sanger started Planned Parenthood on, and now they're going crazy. And which gene pool is getting eradicated from society the most in those facilities? Yeah, let's talk about who is the assault on minority genes, Joe. Kamala Harris, her third answer on 60 Minutes, she didn't look completely confident. And that's... Uh, that's one way of saying it. Her third answer, she didn't look completely competent. That's as mean as he's going to get to her coming off like a complete moron. Donald Trump is lying about immigrants and making their lives less safe and making lives less safe in Springfield, Ohio. Uh, we could go over the crime that you won't report because you're a liar. Or are you saying that genetically they're better than us? But did you see her interview with that local reporter, Philadelphia, why she talked about her middle-class background for two minutes before she started, started talking about policy. U.S. economy keeps climbing an inflation mountain and thinking it's reached the peak, only to find the peak is higher and further still. And she could not come up with an economic policy, no matter how much they groomed her, no matter how much they made her study, no matter how many cue cards they gave her, no matter how many softball interviews they gave her, it's her job. If she was capable of reading and memorizing like two pages of notes, and I'm talking double spaced. She could have absolutely destroyed that interview. Not 50 years from now, not 30 years from now, 10 years from now, people will look back on these columns. They will look back on, 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 on the apologists for Donald Trump. They will look back on this moment and they will ask what madness consumed those people 
That's a good point, Joe. What when they look back 10 years on blacks going for Trump, unions turning to Trump, the young turning to Trump, with media only saying 24-7 that Trump is a threat to democracy, that he's a racist, that he grabs women by the hoo-hoo, that after all of that, they're going to ask themselves, what did the American people, uh, what was going on in their minds? And then they'll look at the left and they'll look at the media, the barrage of lies, and and they'll look at uh, the the pro-Palestinian protesters, and they'll look at Black Lives Matter burning towns to the ground, and they'll look at the footage of 15 million um, people coming over the border sick, their children uh, vanishing, just abject suffering that your party brought about. They'll look at the, the people who could not get a job. They'll look at the people that could not afford food they look at the energy prices and those will all be documented in our economic records and they'll all understand. Trying to create a permission structure to vote for a man who is lying every day and has absolutely no problems lying. That is the strategy, by the way. That is the point. Look really hard in the mirror, Joe, and ask yourself, why are people going for Trump? And then ask yourself, what have I done? I'm John Mike Kane.